This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV and today I'm speaking to Del Redfern from Oxford Instruments and he's going to show us and demonstrate their X-Max system. Hi, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, what you see here is the, uh, the X-Max silicon drift detector. This is the world's largest area silicon drift detector. Um, capable of, of mounting on almost every SEM and most TEMs. Um, gives you the, the best performance for a silicon drift detector. Resolution is typically, we can get down to 124 EV at manganese, uh, less than 50 EV at carbon. Um, the beauty of the silicon, the, the X-Max detector, is that it's capable of collecting uh, counts at very low uh, beam currents. So if you really want to do nano analysis, then lower beam currents is very, very key to the, uh, that, that application. And the X-Max 80, which is one of the variants of the X-Max, will collect the, the most counts available. Um, produces spectra, as you can see over there. This is a typical spectrum from the system, showing the, uh, the elements that it's found. So it's basically looking at uh, energy dispersive analysis uh, on the SEM. Um, one of the beauties of the, the X-Max 80 is its integration with the Inca system and the, the pride of, of Oxford Instruments is data integrity. Data integrity means that when we find uh, the elements we can identify it correctly, we can correct for things like pulse pileups and artifacts and produce the best quantitative analysis available. Uh, the reasons we can do that is that the software has been matched to the detectors so that we know the performance and the characteristics of that detector and uh, we can then generate the best quantitative analysis. Um, the XMAX is the second generation of Oxford's silicon drift detectors. Uh, the first one was the XACT, which sold over a thousand detectors. And we're pleased to say that um, we installed the thousandth XMAX recently at a plant in Germany, a company called Atotech. Um, the X-Max comes in different variations, so we have a 20mm, a 50mm and an 80mm variation. Uh, that means it will suit all applications and all budgets. Um, we can also have the X-Max TEM, which is, uh, was introduced about 12 months ago, and has already become the standard at silicon drift detector on the, uh, on the TEM systems. Gives you fantastic um, Solid angle means we can collect as many counts that a TM can, can produce. So we can collect more counts than, uh, than any other detector and still give you the, the excellent resolution. Applications are that for the SEM and TM, uh, spot analysis, so you want to do single spot, uh, area analysis for quantitative and qualitative analysis, uh, mapping capabilities, so we can collect uh, a full map um, a full spectrum map which is basically collecting a spectrum at each pixel and we can collect that in seconds where the old technology used to take hours to do. So the real advantages are speed of analysis, speed of throughput but ultra reliable data. So data integrity is always key to our products. Uh, so you know that when you analyze a sample you don't need to know prior information on the sample the software is capable of identifying the elements and giving you the best data possible. Right, and Del, what's the difference in, uh, presumably it's something to do with performance, between the 20, 50 and 80 mil versions of the X-Max? Uh, it's just the, the size of the chip, and so that with the 80 millimeter you've got a large area so you can collect as many counts as the system can produce. It means if you really want to do nano analysis where you turn the beam current down, to get a small spot of, of analysis that, the, the, that you get less counts. It means that the uh, X-Max 80 will collect eight times as many counts as a 10 millimeter squared detector. The 50 is a 50 millimeter squared and the 20 is a 20 millimeter squared detector. It's basically identifying different budgets and different markets that those uh, detectors can fit into. All right, Dylan, if anybody wants any information about the X-Max detectors, where can they go? They can go to www.oxford-instruments.com. All right, Dylan, thanks very much for taking the time to tell us about the X-Max detectors. You're welcome. Thank you for your invite.